Ever found yourself scratching your head, wondering what on earth is the difference between var and let in JavaScript? Well, you've come to the right place. In the next few minutes, we're going to demystify these two concepts and clarify the key differences in terms of their scope and hoisting attributes. First off, let's talk about scope. When you declare a variable with var, it's function scoped. This means it is visible throughout the entire function in which it is declared, irrespective of any block scopes that might exist within that function. So, if you've got a function, and inside that function, there's an if or a for block, your var variable is going to be visible everywhere within that function. On the flip side, when you declare a variable with let, it's block scoped. This means it's only visible within the block where it's declared. That block is the chunk of code enclosed by curly braces. So if you've declared a variable with let inside an if or for block, it's only going to be accessible inside that specific block and nowhere else in the function. Now, let's delve into the concept of hoisting. When you declare a variable with var, it's hoisted to the top of its scope and initialized with undefined. This might sound strange, but it simply means you can technically access that variable before it's declared in the code. However, its value will be undefined until you actually assign a value to it. On the contrary, when you declare a variable with let, it's also hoisted to the top of its block scope, but it's not initialized. If you attempt to access it before its declaration, you'll encounter a reference error because the variable isn't defined yet. To illustrate these differences, think of a function where var x is declared and assigned a value of 5 after a console.log statement logging x. When this function is run, the first console.log statement will print undefined because var x is hoisted and initialized with undefined. But once x is assigned a value, it will print 5. In contrast, if you create a similar function with let y instead, trying to log y, before it's declared, will result in a reference error, because let variables are hoisted but not initialized. Once y is declared and assigned a value, it will print 10. So, to sum it all up, the main differences between var and let in JavaScript lie in their scope and hoisting attributes. var is function scoped and is hoisted and initialized with undefined while let is block scoped hoisted but not initialized. These differences might seem subtle, but they can have a significant impact on how your code behaves. So, next time you're declaring a variable in JavaScript, think about whether var or let would be more appropriate. And that's it for today's JavaScript journey. Stay tuned for more insights into the fascinating world of coding.